Hi everybody, my name is Travis Brander. I am here in the studio with Kumasi. Hey. Hello. Thank you for being here, guys. It's our pleasure. Please go down the line, introduce yourselves to the people of the internet. Uh, I'm Luke Pace Scrivener. I'm Psycho D. Ben Cochran. I'm Aaron. Thanks again for being here, guys. Thank it's you. been really fun. You guys are all awesome people. Please tell everyone what Kumasi is. Explain the project, how it's going. Kumasi is a, uh, a project, but mainly it's a band where the focus is we take the songs individually and figure out exactly what they need, and then we apply ourselves thusly. Um, thusly, is that a word? Yes. Um, basically, it's it's a it's a it's a multi instrumental you know musical affair where I mean we'll literally utilize any kind of instrument that we need to to get the song across properly. I mean we have a theremin, we have a clarinet, trombone, keyboards, computers, guitars, bass, drums. It's just a matter of making sure that the song has what it needs and uh, we do it justice. Kumasi is working on the first album. It is not out yet, and the details are not out yet. Please tell me and the people what you can tell us about the album so far. Um, well, the album is, is uh, uh, taking a couple turns because we've had to sort of uh, readjust ourselves uh, as far as you know a new lineup is concerned. But we've got an EP that should be ready very soon, especially whenever this airs. Uh, it currently doesn't have a title, but it should be about four or five songs. And um, but yeah, as soon as that comes out, we're gonna we're gonna it, well, you'll know about it because we will be vicious. You have played a couple shows. There are a lot of shows booked. How have the shows that you have played so far been reception-wise? Crowd? Do people like the music? How's that going? Uh, with this with this current lineup, we played our first show last night. For the, we were the very last set for the Adjust Your Eyes Music Festival, which is, I think they're in their 10th, 11th, 11th, 11th year of being one of Cincinnati's, I think, better, better music festivals. And it kind of moves around every year. And, you know, we were all, we were all kind of like, oh man, it's our first like big thing of the new lineup and it's on a Sunday night at 12.30. And it was great. Like we had a ton of people. Um, Folks wandered in. We had free popsicles that ended up melting. I brought all these popsicles and didn't bring enough ice. Uh, but like we we have a whole lineup of shows coming up. Like we're playing Homestead and Wham Bam Thank You Jam. Uh, we also are doing Go Go Buffalo's uh, boxing match between Tyler and Graham. Round, Round two. Who's gonna win? I don't know. Uh, Graham took it. Uh, took it pretty hard last year but Tyler is like he's like this like little like I don't know if you if you're hip to the comic books there's a comic book character named Puck and he always reminds me of, of Tyler because he's like this tiny little stout dude that just beats everybody I think Tyler's gonna knock Graham's head off oh 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 just a prediction but I hope Graham wins because I like that guy <laughs> So the show went good at AYE, yes. and the festival was awesome. Yes. Great. Could you guys please describe your music or some of your influence, or what, what are we going to be listening to when the EP comes out exactly? Ecleptic or... Um, the music, I mean, I, it's always hard to pick a genre of, of what you do. I mean, I think when the writing process happens, we just try to make whatever the best music is. But if you had to describe it, I mean, I mean, I know I'm a you know huge Rufus Wainwright and Radiohead fan, but I know that our influences come from all over the realm of everything from sort of jam and jazz to you know highly composed electronic. Um, some thrashy punk, so I mean, it's got a lot of energy, but it's got a lot of structure, a lot of composition. I like to call it avant pop, as in like you can dance to it, but you can also sit down and think about it for a while. You wrote all the lyrics? Um, no. Well, um, on the EP, I don't. 
Yeah, no, I mean, uh, a lot of the songs right now are, are ones that I've written, but uh, but we're all writing, so that's that's sort of something where I've, I've, I started writing most of the stuff for this, and it has since become much more of a group affair. Are we really going to see inside of Luke when we listen to that? If you can decode it, yeah. <laughs> if we can decode it, I will do my best to look in, and maybe I can get to know you a little better while listening to that. I I, was, I, I like to, to be, you know, a little bit vague so that people can, you know, apply songs to their own lives, but there is, there's, you know, my secrets are in there too. Secrets, good. You all in this group are members of the Cincinnati music scene, and I'm going to ask the question, Cincinnati is fucking awesome, what do you guys like about it personally? I like the sheer variety of artists. There's like bands of every different kind all over the city and they often play with each other regardless of what genre they are. Yeah, I mean, I feel the same way. Um, there's a lot of lot of love within the music scene, for the music scene, and there's a lot of uh, people that come down. And um, like Sunday night, last night we played late as fuck and people were down there rocking the fuck out with us. And we closed the thing out, and I got home at like 3 a.m., had a few more beers, went to sleep. But it was Sunday night, and people were down there. Um, Cincinnati is just full of tons of great talent, and uh, I mean, you can't stop playing music. If you start playing music in this town at whatever age, you're not going to stop, man. Yeah, you're, you're in it. Yep. Yeah, I think I'd have to have to agree with all of that. I was going to say the, the talent, the caliber of the talent is, I think, unmatched for the number of people anywhere in this country, personally. And then the Adjust Your Eyes Music Festival is a great example of that, where, you know, punk rock show, pop show, anything, and everybody comes out for it, and everybody supports each other. So it's, it's a pretty wonderful, magical melting pot of magical, melty, wonderful. I, I, I love the fact that uh, shows are, for the most part, free. Like any any good show like that you really want to see, and every day it's 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 an everyday affair. Like I've been all over the country in, in a ton of music scenes, and I know like Chicago and New York and in places like that. Like you have to pay five dollars to walk into the door if it's just a bar and you're going out to the bar. And the fact that you can come to Cincinnati, you can go see like all of Cincinnati's greatest bands, they're gonna play a show across the street from one another, and if you wanna catch 10 minutes of this set, and then grab another beer across the street, meet up with your buddies, catch another 10 minutes of that set, that's perfectly cool. And I think that's something to be really appreciated about it, Cincinnati in general. It is very awesome. Please go down the line, best Cincinnati artists, your favorites, the, one we should, the ones we should listen to, please, enlighten us, your opinion. Oh man, there's so many. There's a lot of good ones out there. I'd say for hands down, the most entertaining band I've seen in a long time is probably Go Go Buffalo. Like those guys are just cool dudes, heck of a show. Courtney Love, Donald Trump action. It's just insane. Can I say more than one? As many as you want, shout uh, them out. Two solo artists that have been blowing my mind for a while and continue to are Molly Sullivan and Kate Wakefield. They yeah. are superstars, unbelievable, captivator room. Uh, and then for a band, it's a band I actually worked with uh, not too long ago, and likewise, I think they just do something that nobody else does, Common Center, who this guy's actually gonna be helping them out a little bit on some dates with the drums. Uh, they're a seven piece, like gypsy folk, aggro, punky, saxophones. It's, 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 cr it's crazy fun stuff, so. Oh man, there's there are so many. Um, I mean, for rock and roll, you can't get any better from as far as I'm concerned than Lemon Sky. I mean, they just they've got such, such a solid sound on their albums and live in concert, which they they make a solid album sound even more solid live. It's in, it's incredible. Um, on the same level of incredible, totally different genre. If you like the funk and the soul, man, Almighty Get Down. The Almighty Get Down is just. They just kicked my ass this past weekend up at the uh, Miami Valley Music Festival in Dayton. They've got a big following that they're gathering all over the place, and um, I love those guys. I know some of them personally, and they, they're just too much fun, man. Um, God, there's, there's so many. I don't know. I, I guess I have to stop now, but... <laughs> there's, just, there's a lot of good music. There's, there's just so much good music. I mean, God. Uh, Dog Yop. I mean, those Dog dudes. Yop. Come on. I, 
I'm just going to sit here and pick up all the bands. Yeah, and keep and going. Keep there. going. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I don't care how shameless it is. I think Talk Mouth is one of the best sets you can get in this entire city. Um, it's just, uh, as far as song crafting goes, just some of the finest work you'll ever see. Also, I think one of the most magical acts that I've ever seen in my life is the perfect children. They are just, the, the way like they put on a show, it's just like, you feel like you're in an alternate universe. They are just so good at what they do and just seem like just to have this singular vision that I don't see anybody else doing. I, I mean, I've, I've only caught them a few times, but I mean, when I first walked in, I was just about speechless for about half their sex. I couldn't tell exactly what was going on, but God, I love those guys. I actually got, I got one more. <laughs> I, got, I got one more too. Yeah, long. I have to. Long? Long. Holy shit. One just, of Kate's projects. Yeah, one of Kate, one of Kate Wakesfield and Daisy's projects, and this, it's, it's just evil. It's evil, but so acceptingly evil. I've been hearing about it. It's so good. Nice. And I, I'd be remiss if I forgot to mention ELP, Elementary Liberty Project. Um, those guys are working their ass up over the past couple years uh, doing the reggae rock thing. And uh, they just went to New York, recorded with the dudes from um, Easy Dub All Stars. Um, and they're busting ass. And they help keep uh, the Olmstead Music Festival alive. Uh, this is, I think, the 16th year for that. Um, which we'll be playing, Kumasi will be playing. Um, so check out Elementary Liberty Project if you if you like some reggae, some dancey, fun stuff, man. Because uh, Dave and the boys kill it. So. Thank you for your input, and I value all of your opinions because you are all very cool individuals. Hey, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you again for coming to my studio and letting me take promo photos for your band. Well, thank you for having. Thank you for doing. We appreciate it. Yeah. Everybody, please like Kumasi on Facebook and look very closely for their new music that's coming out very soon. Real soon. Really soon. If you would like to see more of my interviews, please go to my website, www.travisbrander.com. See you guys later.